Great to have Dr. Flores Day, author of The Secret Gateway to Health, back with us. You know, over the period of our discussions, we have talked about virtually everything that has to do, most everything that has to do with oral health. The one thing that we really haven't attacked is something that lots of people suffer from, and that is that for one reason or another, it's whether their teeth may be crooked, their teeth may be deteriorating, they may have lost some teeth for one reason or another, we talked about that. But people that are interested in a nice smile, what can someone do that will help take care of the problems or, you know, how do we have a great smile at 65 years old when we've suffered through all of these problems? Well, my, with today's dentistry, just about anything is possible. Very, very safely, easily, with no pain, virtually no pain. Cosmetic dentistry has come such a long ways. I, it, it's truly amazing. Uh, with the materials that are available through, whether they're veneers or luminaires or luminaires, different, yes. yes, just so many different uh, implants to even for replacing teeth. Um, there are just uh, so many different ways to um, to options, and the the way to start is to find a dentist you can relate with, you can partner with, and let the dentist give you a lot of options. In fact, um, nowadays some dentists have these um, um, machines that will actually allow you to see how you can look. Is that right? Yes, what your smile can look like if you do certain things. For example, if you have um, broken teeth or cracked teeth or spaces or crooked teeth, they can actually uh, simulate on the screen what it would look like, what you would look like with this new smile. So, um, or if it's just whitening your teeth, um, there, there's just so many options that that you just need to find a dentist that um, is up to date with all the different cosmetic dental procedures and just hear your options. You mentioned whitening your teeth. Um, there are all sorts of teeth whitening agents that are offered um, through the toothpaste companies and through is there a difference in what I mean we had talked about toxicity before are there are there differences in the materials that go into these or how they're applied um, are they toxic uh, most of them are some form of hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide I'm totally against if you're using it on a daily basis which for a while there it was like a big fad hydrogen peroxide and everything. It was in toothpaste, mouthwash, use it straight. And that is not a good thing because it does tend to release free radicals. Mm -hmm. um, however, in bleaching, since you're using it for a certain period of time, limited amount of time, and it's just on a topical, you know, it sits on the teeth, then you rinse it off, it really should be fine. Now, some people tend to get overzealous and they almost get addicted to whitening. It's never white enough, and so they keep going back every month, every other month, and that, that can be harmful. Just one final comment. Um, I mentioned the, the age 65 and whatever it is. Basically, anyone who has a problem with teeth that can't be corrected some other way, that can be corrected with something like luminaires that you mentioned, really should have the opportunity to yes. be able to experience that, shouldn't they? Because Absolutely. It's, absolutely wonderful to be yes. able to smile at somebody and say how are you rather than have to you know yes uh, there, there's just no excuse these days to if you think that it will make a difference in your how you feel about yourself how you smile how you appear to others I've had patients that were in their 70s even 80s believe it or not who wanted to improve their smile and by golly they did and it was great they loved it. So Let me see a smile. Thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.